So now we've learned the basics of lists, and we're going to look at one of the more advanced Python features, which is list comprehensions. And this is a programming paradigm that you would see in most scripting languages. For example, you'd also see it in Lua. Uh, so let's create a list of values. Thals equals 1, 3, 5, 8. And let's say we wanted to get a new list of values that's equal to 2 times the old list. Well, if we naively just do vals times 2, we end up with the vals concatenated with itself. And this makes sense because we're basically doing vals plus vals, which is two lists concatenated together. So how do we create a new list? Well, we could just say vals2 is equal to brackets. This is an empty list. And then we'll do a for loop over vals and increment everything uh, by a multiple of 2. So for v in vals, we will append to vals2 two, 2 times the value. OK. That was easy enough. We get 2 times the list. There is a much cleaner way to do this in Python, and that's where we're going to use a list comprehension. So instead, let's do vals2 equals 2 times v for v in vals. This is a list comprehension. Basically, the syntax is you create a new list, and you iterate over elements in another list. In this case, it's vals and then you do some sort of algebraic manipulation or statement on each element in that list. So that's this right here. And then the for v in vals just means we're going to iterate over all elements in vals. An important thing to note is that this does create a new list from an old list.